Okay, so I've got another little tip for you. Uh, if you have an ultrasonic cleaner like I have, when the fluid inside is like still pretty good and clean, you want to reuse it, it takes forever for these things to warm up. So it could take like an hour or maybe even longer. So what I've done is I've bought myself a, a fryer. Actually, I had this one that we didn't use anymore. So this is just a fryer to fry your fries or chips or uh, whatever. As you can see, I hooked that in here. So the fryer and the uh, ultrasonic cleaner are heating the water. Now it was 20 degrees like a few minutes ago and it's up to 45. So it goes a lot faster uh, if you do it like this. So that's what the little switch is. That's like a safety switch and it just wedged some cardboard in there. So the device makes contact and it starts heating. And I just do it on full blast. So it's really quick. Um, so, and it's it's not that dangerous really. So as soon as it gets nice and hot, it takes about, I think 15 minutes to heat this up. Uh, and it's 20 degrees out right now here, uh, which is really great. And especially in the winter time when it's really, really cold, especially here in the shed where there's no heating and it's like minus five, this could take forever. <laughs> So we're like only like three minutes uh, along the way and it's like really, really hot already. Uh, the temperature right now is nearly 70 over here. You can't really see it, but trust me for it. I'm gonna turn this thing off, uh, remove it. That's what it looks like. So it's just like a heating element. Uh, don't use it again for food, of course. That's uh, a no brainer, but it works really, really great. So I'm gonna soak these um, pistons in here um, see if I can get them nice and clean again I have to put in a GS but that's how it's done get one of these things they're only like 15 euros I think um, and they save you a lot of time so another tip